He is saving the Dead Sea, and he is doing it with his camera. You may have heard already that the Dead Sea is dying. Many say that in about 25 years, it could be gone. Dried up, no more floating fun, and no more of these gorgeous salt formations. This is happening, well, because of us. The water that should be flowing into the Dead Sea is being taken by humans. Plus, chemical and cosmetic companies continue to mine minerals from here, causing the destruction you see now on your screen. But today, I'm here to give you a little hope. That maybe, just maybe, the Dead Sea could be saved. Shalom, my name is Noam Badin, and I'm here to save the Dead Sea. Noam is an Israeli photojournalist and founder of the Dead Sea Revival Project. He sails around the Dead Sea on a boat with his camera taking photos. He has taken over 25,000 of them. Through Noam's photos, we are able to see the story of these waters. It's beautiful. However, Noam is also showing the world the very scary reality of the dying Dead Sea. He is taking the responsibility of documenting the destruction. The salt formations you see now are amazing, right? Well, they no longer exist. You can see here in just a few years what is happening. So through photography, Noam hopes to rally support to save the Dead Sea. He even created a virtual museum of the Dead Sea. Here you can buy Dead Sea NFTs with cryptocurrency. All profits go to help raise awareness about the ecological crisis happening here, at the lowest place on Earth. But now I must share with you something unbelievable that Noam discovered on one of his boat adventures. Exactly six years ago, I went on my first boat excursion here in the Dead Sea. I was actually amazed to realize how there's actually small fish in the sinkholes of the Dead Sea. Could this mean the Dead Sea is coming back to life? Well, according to an ancient biblical prophecy, it was destined to happen. It says the Dead Sea will come back to life and it will be filled with fish. This phenomenon is happening here at the Dead Sea because on one hand, the Dead Sea is actually receding in the lowest in recorded history, but on the other hand, life is emerging outside of the Dead Sea. On the Dead Sea's shores, you have sinkholes with fresh water. You actually have vegetation, bird migration, and even fish. While this is great, the Dead Sea is really still dying. For us to save the Dead Sea, we have to be restoring the historical flow to the Dead Sea, the Jordan River, the Kinneret, and the most important thing is regional cooperation around saving the Dead Sea. Noam captures all the beauty of the Dead Sea while it is still with us, in hopes that the world will give a voice to these waters. Yes, even in the lowest point on Earth, there is still hope. This is how the Dead Sea is being saved. This, this is, is Inside, Inside Israel. Israel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.